This is another very quick single ingredient video. Um, it's on ingredients that you can add to your backpacking meal plan to inject all sorts of vitamin C into it. And it is white mulberries. If I can give you a little sense of how they look right there. I can't see with the glare on the viewfinder, so hopefully you can see those. It's kind of a, like a cross between a raisin and a fig. Uh, it's sweet and it's chewy. You can add it to any kind of meal. Breakfast is an easy one, but you can also add it to your dinners to add a little bit of sweetness and chewiness to those as well. Um, just a quarter cup of these and you have all the vitamin C that you need for the day. Also has vitamin E and also has calcium. And again, calcium is one of those things that we think of, you know, grow strong bones. It's needed for a lot of other processes in the body as well that are important to keep you going on a long hike, uh, backpacking trip, through hike, that sort of thing. Now I cannot find these locally, so this is something that I ordered online and they're available all over the place uh, online and if you're not familiar, I do like the brand Anthony's. Um, and I think that's it. Um, again, you know, I, I don't think it's every backpacker has to go crazy and making sure they have 100% of, you know, vitamin C and all other nutrients and minerals while you're out backpacking. Um, but if you can throw a cupful into your meal plan, it's like, why not, right? And I think especially for people that are going on longer trips that kind of strive to have a complete nutrition profile, it's perfect to put in there. Um, and a lot of people will throw in a, you know, a vitamin or a supplement. And again, when you're, when you're eating real food, your body just has a better chance of absorbing it. The other thing that happens when you're eating real food is that your gut has a better chance of keeping all those bugs down there growing properly so that it can absorb it. So if you're eating the typical sort of backpacking meal plan of just, you know, kind of, you know, just a lot of carbs, calories, and that sort of thing, and eventually your, your gut burns out and all that bacteria and all those other microbes aren't available anymore to process the food. So you could take a vitamin or a supplement, but you know, it just goes right through your system because you need all sorts of other um, you know, micronutrients in order to process that. So if you can get it from real food, I suggest getting it from real food. Um, and so again, white mulberries, uh, good for vitamin C, E, calcium, has like three grams of protein in it. Uh, try it out.